Hello. My voice is audible, loud and clear. Good evening to everyone. Let me check if things are fine or not. Good evening, good evening, Charan. Good evening, Mohit. Voice is loud and clear, right? Okay. Okay, welcome all to this lecture number four of Snow Mastering SQL Concepts on Snowflake. So hope you have understood whatever I have taught in the first three lectures. Things are clear, everything. Uh, I have not started SQL. So today your basic SQLs will be starting and I'll be teaching you from the complete scratch, right? So those who are joining for the first time, feel free to go through all my um, free videos, which is there already on the YouTube. I'll be showcasing you that also so that you don't have any issue. Let me show you that part also. Simply go to the YouTube and then you will see all the live recordings are hosted over there. Yes, lecture one, lecture two, lecture three, lecture four is already there, right? So you feel free to uh, go through it. Also, I would like to make one very, very important announcement regarding uh, uh, the company which I associated is called iNeuron. iNeuron is launching full stack data analytics course 2.0. 2.0 where also I'll be covering whatever uh, will be covering in this live class there also I'll be covering you but there will be a bit more structure here we are taking one hour so there the duration will be more so if you want to join and if you want to uh, finish off the complete course within six months you can join iNeuron courses also and I'll be helping you there itself okay I'll show you that part also so to, on 12th November they'll be launching this course so you can join there also full stack course Right, I have shared this on my portal also. If you see, if you if you go to my uh, YouTube channel, there also you can see it. Right. So recently they are starting to launch this. From twelfth November, I guess they'll be launching it. And let me show you here itself. Yes, here you go. Right. So I have shared this already. Right. So I'm also there along with Christian and other teachers also. So here this will be more customized. Right. Lots of project, lots of assignment. You'll be doing it. Okay, lot many projects, lot many assignments, you'll be doing it. So feel free to go through it, check out the course syllabus and all, and I'll take care there also. My channel, of course, will be there because every day here I'm coming live. So this will be a bonus to you all, right? One second. This will be like a bonus for you all, right? There also you'll study. Here, of course, I'm there. Here, it be because we are doing every day, right? So here we'll be covering... Also in detail, there also I'll be covering you much detail, but there the courses will be much faster because three faculties are there. Me, Sudhansu sir and uh, Krishna X are also are there. That's why if you see their courses, just wait for two minutes before I start. So uh, if you see their courses, I think, where is it? It should be here. If I click on enroll now, let's see what page it is giving me. Wait, I am not able to see. One second. Where is my drag? I can't drag it. So just explore it. And then here I think, wait, yeah. Courses, if you go, data analytics, uh, business analytic master. Yes, this is the 2.01. So you can go through it. I'm also there. I'm showcasing you this. Yes. All the everything starting from 12th November, class timing is 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. So Dansu sir will be talking about this. And doubt session will be Saturday and Sunday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. So I am available here only. Also. Right. Suppose apart from apart from 10 p.m. live, I'm I'll be here also. So you'll be having all these things, whatever it is. Right. And these are the syllabus. These are the syllabus. Right. My SQL, basic chart, maps, plus slicer. M language, Power Query, Tab, SQL, Python, Statistics, Excel, and R programming also I'll be teaching you on my channel. So additional benefit for you all. So grab this offer. They're offering this in 10,000, 30% discount is there on this, right? If you want, you can go and all the syllabus are here. Anyhow, I'll be covering all this thing in the live class also, right? Sudhansu sir, and here you go. I'm also there, right? You know Krishna Akat sir and Sudhansu sir. They are quite industry experienced, right? So I'll be covering you all in great detail. So this was just, I wanted to showcase it to you all. Hope that is clear. 
गुड इवनिंग साक्षी गुड इवनिंग गौरी गुड इवनिंग शुभम सो दिस वॉज जस्ट एन ओवरव्यू राइट ओके नाउ ओके uh let me start today's agenda so today's agenda as you might be aware now why fsd 2.0 what's new in this course when compared to previous fsd no those who are already enrolled in the previous fsd you has no need to enroll right these are all for the new folks yes they are still not all enrolled right snowflake will be covered in great detail over there previously batch snowflake was not there so that's what the thing is and more sudanshu sir will be talking about i am not in a position to talk about all this i think sudanshu sir in soon in the live once he comes he will be talking here right okay yeah so today's class will be starting the basics of sql first i'll give you a little bit of uh, background of what sql is and guys one very important update those who were asking me regarding the files and folder let me show you already in all the video link i have given at the end of the video you will find my github link here you go everything i have uh, copy pasted for you go to ananjha 90 this link already i have shared with you all go to repository go to repository click on this analytics with anand okay same as my channel name so you won't see anything here because you have to go to the snowflake branch two branch i have creating right if i am teaching python i'll create a python branch so that you guys don't get confused click on snowflake and all everything i have copy pasted here right everything so i'll be covering everything in great detail plus more will be added further right so that many of you have asked this question where is the ppt where is the slide where is this things right that's why i am covering this no 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 my sequel and snowflake i i won't cover at the same time but listen guys my sequel and snowflake structure wise almost 90% it's same here and then syntax matter so if you know sequel on snowflake to do the same sequel on my sequel it will just take a matter of one day just here and there syntax differ that's all got my point just a minor difference in syntax right if you have understood already the sequel you have mastered the sequel concept on snowflake same thing you can repl replicate on my sequel just the ui part is different got my point just the ui part is different that's it okay so don't worry i'll help you with my sequel also let this snowflake things gets over and then we'll move to my sequel one or two class i'll wrap in my sequel also because anyhow uh, sequel concept will be over by then so my sequel one and two class i'll take and i'll explain you the ui part and complete infrastructure also so that you are in sync with both right so once snowflake gets over then we'll take care so those who want slides ppt anything everything is uploaded here it's in the snowflake branch guys two branch i have created one is the main branch one is the snowflake branch right so like this i'll be keep creating it for python for aws for azure and all those things hope that is clear right so everything i have copy pasted here documentation date function whatever i'll be discussing it okay how many days sir snowflake am i sir snowflake will take me close to uh, i am believing one month it will take if i am regular from monday to friday one month definitely it will take yes one hour daily so 30 hours i need at least maybe beyond that but one month i think i'll be able to wrap it up yes so your entire data analyst course is like a six month it takes six months time only when you practice one hour daily then it in six months you can wrap the complete data analyst sql uh, excel power bi tableau r programming and everything will be done right only we are regular saturday sunday i have to see whether 10 pm are available or not because i'll be uh, coming live on i neuron that's why i have to think that let's see we'll plan something for friday uh, saturday sunday but of course till friday i am available 10 pm GitHub link is there, of course. Just you click on. At the end of this video, also I have given it, so you don't have to worry. And again, I'll paste it also. Let me paste it for you all, so that it becomes easier. One minute. I'll paste it also. Those who are finding it difficult, so that it becomes easy. Just type GitHub Anand Jha ninety. You'll get it. And go to that particular repository. So, one minute. I'll share it in the chat also. go to repository uh, analytics with anand and then make sure you go to the click on this branch okay click on this branch snowflake and then here you go i'm pasting it in the in the chat with you all yeah here it is okay same thing i'll paste it here also on linkedin people are also watching me live so here it is okay yeah that's the link okay yeah everything i'll be uploading here everything assignment everything in the snowflake right i'll create one more branch for the assignment later on 
right now it is not required yeah okay hi anuj hi everyone okay yes here we go okay then let me open one everyone can open this ppt this ppt is basically done by uh, one of the sir which i have taken sometimes reference also you have to give ha ah, so this is the sequel basics this is done by dr sanjeev verma he works at the university of lucknow very nice ppt very easy to understand sequel basics i have not created this ppt to be very frank because already dr sanjeev verma sir has created this so i am using this reference just for the explanation purpose yes okay yeah charan that is right okay yes so first of all today is the beginning welcome you all to this live class on sequel let's begin it okay let's start it so what is sequel basically why do we need sequel so in layman terms to interact with the database to interact with the data sequel is the most easiest language which stand for structured query language it is used for storing and managing data in relational database management system okay now what is rdbms hold on i'll tell you later okay so complete database you can manage using sequel language okay this is a language through which you will interact with the database right got it so it is a standard language for relational database system it enables you to create read update any records if you want to update any new suppose an employee is working in a company and his salary got increased right so you can update it so all this interaction with the database will happen through a language which is called sql right so i am focusing more on this because non tech background are also here right okay all the rdbms like mysql informix oracle ms excel sql server your snowflake right even your snowflake uses sql as their standard database language mysql is a very famous platform where the company using but these days all the companies are moving on the cloud environment all the companies are moving in the cloud environment that's why right so that's why this is the most hot favorite language for the data analyst next hot favorite language is the python sql and python goes hand in hand sql and python goes in hand in hand so sql allows users sri ganesh i am anisha sql allows users to query the database in a number of ways using english like statement so this is basically an english like statement through which we can query the database and we can have the data and we can have the data we'll see this how further okay so this is the first part let's see what is there in the second yes so sql follow the following rule rules we should know any programming language if you are learning it first task you should understand the rule sql query language is not case sensitive what does it mean i can write my code in capital letter i can write my code in small letter but again the best practice is whatever the keyword is there whatever the keyword is there you will always use the capital letter you will always use the capital letter such as select such as from such as database such as use automatically it will get highlighted in blue you don't have to worry i like writing sql code in capital letter i have developed my way i don't like small letters but you can use even if you use small select see it will come in blue okay it will come in blue it is coming in blue it is coming in blue right it is coming in blue right automatically it will come in blue so you don't have to worry now you'll say sir can i use both capital and small sir can i use both capital and small let's see whether it works or not yes of course of course it works let's see if database d a t a b a c yes of course it works got it but my best practice always follow the best practice that's why we are write all the keyword in capital letter write all the keyword in capital letter okay develop this habit right write all the keyword in capital letter okay next let's go here clear so these are not case sensitive you can write small letter capital letter doesn't matter at all okay generally keywords of sequels are written in upper case that's the best practice that's why i told you right that's the best practice statements or sequel are dependent on text line we can use a single sequence statement on one or multiple text line that also we can use sequel don't have tab facility to complete uh, mohit what is a tab facility i didn't get you Oh, auto complete. You mean to say, yeah, here in Snowflake it is there. Huh? The moment you type, the moment you type select, see S C L S C L automatically it get highlighted. It is getting highlighted, right? See this, it is getting highlighted, right? Ha, so it is getting highlighted automatically. You just select that. You just select that. So it will it will give you a hint. 
it will give you a hint kind of thing, right? I'll select it. Yes, done. This answers your question, Mohit, right? Clear? So you can use small, you can use capital letter, automatically it will come. See, automatically it will come. Now, guys, this complete uh, Snowflake UI has been changed. I'll discuss in more detail as we go further. So don't panic. Many students have texted me, said I'm not able to load table. The UI got completely changed because Snowflake has come up with a very uh, big upgrade, which you can see it. I'll show you. Recently, today only I saw it. I think uh, Snowflake, I have shared this also in my one of my WhatsApp group. See, if you go to the Snowflake, they have come up with the very upgrade called Snowside where they have, uh, I think, removed uh, all the classic console thing. Somewhere I saw today, someone posted it, but it's not here. Burj Khalifa, they have, uh, they have telecasted it live. Okay, let's see if they, it is here or not. So completely they have removed. This and all is there. Leave it, doesn't matter. I'll tell you the UI part also. So don't worry, right? Classic console is completely go gone. So this is the more advanced UI feature you are seeing. In the classic console, you used to see all these things. Warehouse, database, schema. My first class, you remember? Now it is gone. We'll see how it is done. Don't worry for the time being. Okay. Chal. This much it, it is clear, right? So using SQL statement, you can perform most of the action in database. SQL depends on tuple relational calculus and relational algebra. We'll see this. What is the last point? Forget about it. We'll see what is the relational calculus and what is the relational algebra. You don't have to worry as such, right? Let's move further. So what is the SQL process? How internally does it work? Now you have understood the internal implementation of Snowflake. You have the partition file, micro partition file. Each file gets replicated three times. It's 16 MB, then goes to the compute layer where all your active warehouse is there. Whether it will be in suspended state or in the active state, that is there. Then it goes to the what? After compute layer, which is the layer? Service layer, which is the brain of your snowflake. Right? Which is the brain of your snowflake. Correct? Right? So how does SQL process? How does SQL process? How does SQL process? So when a SQL command is executing for any database, any database, then the system figure out the best way to carry out the request and the SQL engine. And the SQL engine determines that how to interpret the task. This is different in case of MySQL and the cloud, it is completely different. I have explained you already in my yesterday's video, how micro partition files have been created. Millions and millions of files has been created, right? And how internally first three rows goes to the first micro partition file. Next three rows goes to the next micro partition file. So this will change for the cloud and this will change for the MySQL server. Right. In the process, various components are included. These components can be optimization engine, query engine, query dispatcher classes. Again, this is taken care by the service layer of your Snowflake. Again, this is taken care by the service layer of the Snowflake. Right. Again, this is taken care by the service layer of the Snowflake. All the non-SQL queries are handled by the classic query engine, but SQL query engine won't handle logical file. We'll see why not. We'll see why not. Why can't it handle logical files? We'll see what does this mean later, later when we start executing the code. So what is the SQL process? What is the basically SQL process? Moment, moment you write SQL query, moment you write SQL query, it goes to the query language processor. It processes internally. It processes internally. There are certain parser. There are certain optimizer which optimizes it. It checks for the syntax error, whether semicolon is present or not, whether any spelling mistake is there or not. That's why it gives you a syntax error. That's why it gives you a syntax error. Then it goes to the DBMS engine. Internally, it goes to the DBSM engine and where transaction manager and file manager. So this entire thing, guys, this entire thing is a part of your service layer, which we talked about metadata, right? Service layer in Snowflake. Try to relate with Snowflake. This slide has been prepared with respect to your MySQL. But try to relate it with the Snowflake because I'm teaching on your Snowflake, right? So this is like a service layer, like a service layer of your Snowflake. And then it interacts with the physical database. Physical database is which layer? Physical database. Where is your files are stored? In which layer? Storage layer. In your storage layer, right? That's why architecture was very, very important before I wanted to start this SQL. Right? So this is the overall process. How does it work? Try to relate with the storage layer, compute layer, and service layer in Snowflake. Okay? Then you can relate it very, very properly. Got it? So this is the general big picture of how SQL works, right? Got it? That's why it gives you a syntax error and everything. Sometimes authenticated error also if you give, 
if you have logged in with a wrong account, right? Okay, let's see what is there in the next. So far, just basics I have taught you of uh, SQL. Let me load more page. Yes. What is the advantage? What do you think advantage? Tell me advantage with respect to uh, Snowflake. High speed, security, agility, and then warehouse scaling, both horizontal and vertical, you can scale. You can increase the warehouse size, large, small, medium, right? Think from the cloud point of perspective also. Well-defined standards, portable is there, interactive language, multiple data view, you can appear, multiple worksheet you can open at a time, right? Fast computation, yes, all are these advantages, we all know. Now we have seen the Snowflake. Basically, what are the advantage of Snowflake? Same advantage is there with the SQL. Speed, computation power, we can alter the speed, we can increase more the clusters, we can, we can scale the warehouse, small, medium, right? Easy to write, simple, same language, not much syntax is here. Anyone can learn this. Even class 3 student can learn this, class 10 student also can learn this. Nothing is there in this. Basic SQL, if I talk about, anyone can understand this. It's a simple, plain language. Right? It's a simple, plain language. Okay. This we are all clear. Now, this is the most important thing to think. Whenever client will give you any Excel data or any data, how you will identify whether each column has what kind of data? Each column has what kind of data? So you should know the understanding of the data type. Why data type is required? Suppose client may give me any data set. Let's open any Excel file. Okay. Let's open any Excel file. Then it will become, things will become clear with you. Just give me one minute. Okay. Can you see this Excel file? Everyone? Age. What do you think age can take? Age will always be a number. Age will of course always be, be a number. But what will be the range of number? When I write number, whether it will be a single digit, whether it will be a two digit, whether it will be a three digit. Ideally, three-digit age won't exist, right? In any IT company, I assume people are working till 60 years or 65, whatever it is. So age will always be a two-digit number. Very easy to understand. Very easy to understand. Age will always be a two-digit number. Any people will fall age group between 18 to 60, I'm assuming. Let's be, be more practical, right? Correct. So age will always fall in the two-digit. Like, but what is the best data type? What is the type of data age can take? Number. Or we can say numeric, another way of telling it. What about gender? Gender tell me either you can have male, female or you have M or F. Either you can have male, female or you can have M or F. When it is a single letter, when it is a single letter, M or F, that is called character. Character is nothing but your A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Right? Or, yes, as far as pointed out, or we can say binary. Everyone understand binary zeros and one. Machine understand always zeros and one. Machine won't understand this male, female, January and unemployment, all those numbers. Machine understands zeros and one. So entire these things will convert it into zeros and one. So if I say my zero stands for male and my one stands for female, right? Then that is called binary. This is very, very important guys because when I'll be covering your machine learning later after six months, then I'll be telling you, right? One hot encoding which we say. So whenever male is there, you take it as zero. Whenever female is there, you take it as one. Okay. So this is called binary. Now period. What do you think the data type of period will be? January, 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 February, March, April. What are these? What is the data type of period will be? What is the data type? Yes, SQL support. SQL support encoding. I'll tell you Ganesh later on. Huh. What is the data type of period? Time period here, which I am seeing in this column. Which I am seeing in this column. Is it date? Date. Very simple. The date. It's a very date. Date. It's in date type. Right. It's in date type. Ha. What is this number? This number can be huge. So this is basically, this is also a number, but with certain range and precision. With certain range and precision. What is range? What is precision? I'll talk about in this today's class only. Okay. How much does it, it can take? Unemployment. 91,000. Five digit. Ten digit. So you have to actively give in such a way. Right. So let's talk about the data type because this is very, very important. You have to understand the type of column. Okay. You have to understand the type of column. Uh, Mohit is telling, yes. Mohit is telling, uh, Mohit, you are right. I'll repeat that later on. Okay. So SQL data type is used to define the values that a column can contain. Very simple way of understanding it. Every column is required to have a name and data type in the database table. 
there should not be a single column which a database administrator is creating this table or we if we are creating as a data analyst there should not be single table without without column and its type without column and its type so what are the data type binary binary we all have understood zeros and one numeric numeric stands for the number numeric stands for the number extract numeric we'll say we'll see extract numeric is how many digits i want in numeric how many digits i want whether i want numeric to be three digit like in example age in example age i'll take the numeric digit but how how many digits i want in age two not beyond two while waste my memory two age won't cross three digit right in any of the it companies there's no any employee who is 100 years of old right not even 90 so age will always fall between 20 to say for example 60 years so you can take two digit number then what is your string this is more example string is a sequence of character string is nothing but a string. these are all string if you treat this complete sentence this is all string now string is written in double quotes and character is written in single quote you can assume like this this also you can write in double quotes no issue string say for example if i write my name anand i'll write it in double quotes right so string is a sequence of character string is a sequence of character that's it which is written in double quotes okay what is the difference between numeric and exact numeric difference between numeric and extract numeric is numeric if you give number number it will take by default whatever suppose it is like say i am considering in the memory it is taking eight precision eight digits it can take it can take eight digits right and you have given digits say for example age of certain person 23 then this your entire memory is wasted rather than you should give number you should give number and how many digits you want number comma two then you are effectively managing your memory effectively managing your memory let me show you straight away this always see the examples when you are learning this i'll show you let's see ah can you see this guys what is this who can tell me who can tell me what is this number i have written 10 comma 2 what is this meaning just by reading you tell me data is here data is here guys if you focus on this data you can tell me commission commission is number 10 digits comma 2 what is that meaning what is that meaning decimal what is decimal basically what is 10 comma 2 what is 10 comma 2 huh what is 10 comma 2 12 comma 2 opening amount receive amount payment amount amount will always be a number 10 10 decimal 2 what is the 10 decimal 2 no 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 answer it properly what is this 10 comma 2 guys i have not explained you but i'm asking from you what is 10 comma 2 number 10 comma 2 before decimal 10 digits and after decimal 2 digits yes that means my receive amount can be anything 10 digit but after decimal it is 2 do you see in the checkbook when i write amount 87000 what do you do Point zero zero. always there is in the checkbook you always have to write even if the bank will give you the checkbook it will write dot zero zero, right so that there is no discrepancy Ah, so this two is called your precision how accurately you want you can give three also you can give four also right correct so this is called precision wait uh, let me this is called precision this is called total number of digits total digits which you want before the decimal okay total digits which you want before the decimal clear clear i'm giving you the real case scenario where and all you'll use see where and all we have used let's see this one by one i have used opening amount amount is of course it will be a number number outstanding amount our loan our loan loan we say right big amount suppose 40 lakh loan i have taken 80 lakh one crore many people take two two crore three crore so of course i have i have to specify the total number of digits 12 and how much after decimal i want bank will always give you the amount in your account with some decimal 10296.32 right sometimes you get interest also in that way so number has got wide use wide applications many a times we'll be using this got it so this is the number clear where you'll be using number where you'll be using number let's focus for the timing on the number okay any more use cases there let's see uh number is order amount order number uh what is this six comma zero 
in your order number when you order on swiggy zomato or anywhere did you see any decimal in the order number have have you ever seen any decimal in the order number huh even any time when you go to any uh, bank or for your passport they give you a token have you seen any decimal in your order number i have never seen that's why it is giving comma zero this is the difference between numeric and this is the difference between extract numeric right there is the in order number there won't be any that's why you give zero right that's why we have given number 6 comma 0 or or ashwarya is pointing out we can give integer also we can give integer also in that will also work right we'll see this okay ha okay then 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 number is this anything else is there let me check okay nothing is there okay here we have ha see row number guys now you tell me let's understand the difference between integer and number where and all in which case you will be in you will be using integer and which case you will be using number your employee id guys your employee id best example i'll use integer why i have to use number i don't want decimal no employee id will never contain decimal i'll use integer row number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 i'll use integer roll number i can use integer right integer will be whole number but number can be float as well yes basically ha ah. number can be that feedback count guys listen this feedback count what is feedback count integer i don't have to take number i don't have to take number at all i'm teaching you from the complete scratch right because non technical people are also here that's why so understand it properly very very in business use case also i'm giving you in which all scenario you'll be using it because you never know you may work in swiggy you may work in zomato or you may work in banking industry there are n number of openings for the data analyst so you should use this very very wisely your manager can check your code which you are using whether you have a understanding of this data types or not right so integer feedback count any counting if you are doing it number of employees number of orders integer integer right so these are the thing right now clear for the number right clear for the number ha ah, now let's come to the character part which and all case you will be using character which and all case you will be using character which and all case you will be using character tell me which and all you will be using character ha huh? which and all you is using character say suppose any agent code is there ha ah, ye class available ho gaya me don't worry it will be available it is already recording is there on the youtube okay Agent num. I'm, I'm giving care forty. I'm specifying the number of reserved location. Agent name can fall from zero to forty character. I'm not sure. Some agent has a bigger name. Like generally, when with this, uh, you have seen very Rana Ranveer Pratap Narayan Singh. I have a one a class two friend. I don't know if he is watching this video later or not. a very good friend of class 3 friend his name was rana ran vijay pratap narayan singh imagine so i have to consider those name also into consideration no so car 40 i am taking it how many number of characters i'll be reading 40 working area where i work i work as an analyst i work as a different profession right so in that case character 35 phone number why i have taken phone number as character 15 who can tell me what is the phone number what why guys think phone number what you will take good that i got this point what what you will take in phone number you will take integer no phone number is a 10 digit integer won't support that much we'll see the range also of everything phone is a 10 digit number and suppose if you are giving phone number with country code 91 with country code suppose you are giving 91 it will be a 12 character so you cannot do calculation with it integer does integer tage does integer will support 10 digit we'll see we'll check whether integer support 10 digit or not we have to check the documentation right if integer supports 10 digit go on you can give it but what if it does do didn't get supported then what is that mohit phone number in care why shouldn't be in integer yes very good point why it shouldn't be the integer let's check this one very important thing one second i'll show you one thing uh let's see this yes okay integer you are telling right let's check here is that summary of data pi which snowflake has given okay let's talk about integer let's see the range let's see the range of integer okay let's see the range of integer guys chalo ha we have spoken about number numbers up to 38 digits with an optional precision and scale so when you are taking number 
you can take till 38 digits. You can take till 38 digits, right? Comma zero. So I can also use my phone number as number 12 comma zero. I don't want any decimal place. I don't want any decimal place. So that's the beauty of this number, right? Note that precision limits the range of values that can be inserted into columns of a given example. For example, value 999. This 999 is a three-digit number. Understand this. This 999 is a three-digit number, but it will fit into this. It will fit into this. But 999, Snowflake has given a very important point, but 999 won't fit into this. No, because you have a three-digit number. It will give you an error. And this is your two-digit you are taking. How can three-digit be fit into two-digit? Huh? How can three-digit will be fit into two-digit? Not possible, right? That's why we take help, get a precision. The maximum scale number of digits to the right. Oh my God, 37 digits. 37 digits after decimal you can take, right? After the decimal, you can take 37 digits. Imagine. So before decimal, 38 digits. After decimal, 37 digits. 38, 37. Remember like this. 38, 37, okay? 38, 37. Okay, 38, 37. Huh. So you have integer, big integer, small integer, tiny integer, byte integer. There are various kinds of these things. Okay, there are various kinds of this thing. Right? Big integer, small integer and all those things. Got my point? Right? Clear? Okay, yeah. Clear? Impact of precision. Precision total number of these does not impact storage. Will it impact storage? No. In other words, storage requirements for the same number in columns with different precision such as number 2 comma 0 and number 38 comma 0 are the same. Storage wise, it is same. It is just how much memory space you are reserving it. Right? Imagine like how much uh, uh, doors you are opening for that number. Here, why CAR has been used for number? I'll talk about that. I'll talk about it. Forget that. Forget that. Forget that. That's a different case. We'll talk about later. For each micro partition, Snowflake determines the minimum and maximum values for a given column and uses that information to determine the storage size for all values for that column in the par partition. Very, very important point. If a column contains only values between minus 128 and plus 127, then each of the value consume one byte. Only one byte. Okay, 8 bits is 1 byte. Guys, 8 bits is 1 byte. Okay, zeros and 1 is called bits. Zeros and 1 is called bits. Now, if the largest value in the column is this, then each of the value consumes 4 bytes. Internally, Snowflake is very smart enough. Okay, very smart enough. Clear? So, so in, to save space, Snowflake compresses values before writing them to storage. The amount of compression depends upon the data values and other factors that we are not bothered about. Okay. Internally, Snowflake is very smart enough in order to do it. Okay. Let's see this example, right? Number 10, number I have taken 10 with one precision, right? D, C, decimal, I have taken 20 with comma 2. Decimal also you can take. Decimal is like a floating number. Sometimes your salary, right? Suppose percentage. Basically, we cannot do calculation with phone numbers, so care can be used. I'll talk about Ashwarya later. Yeah. Numeric is numeric, 30, 3, int, integer, integer, right? All these things you can take. Float. Float is basically, uh, let's see this. Uh, where is it? Uh, no, 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 no. Precision uses double precision, 64-bit IEEE, floating point number, not required. I'm just increasing the precision. Float, float 4, float 8. They are certain types. Snowflake treats all three as 64-bit floating point numbers. 64-bit floating point numbers. Okay. Zeros and ones are called bits, guys. Those who are from non-tech background. Zeros and ones are called bits. Right? Zeros and ones are called bits. Precision is approximately 15 digits. So based on that float, float 4, float 8, you will use it accordingly. Right? Ha. So this is just the overview. Double also you can use. It has more precision. What is the difference between float and double? After decimal, number of digits increases. That's it. After decimal, number of digits increases. Int and integer, there's no difference. Only the size stage. Only the size. Some will have like million characters, million numbers, and some will have more than that. Right? In space program, we will be using it. All these things. After decimal point, because it's matter how much distance we are calculating to reach to Mars or any other planet. Right? 
It's just the precision which it matters between int and integer. Same with float, float four and four. See, precision is approximately 15 digits. It's just how much digits you are considering after decimal, right? After decimal, how much digits you want, basically. Okay. Double, double precision, real. When comparing two floating point numbers, Snowflake recommends comparing for approximate equality rather than exact equality. So how internally Snowflake compares? Approximation it goes. 27.83964 and 27.93476. So approximate value Snowflake internally compares. Right? Okay. And then, okay. Anything else is here for the number point? Okay, mostly you'll be working on the number. Let's see int, as you have asked. Ah. Synonyms with number except that precision and scale cannot be specified. Therefore, all integer data type, the range, the range of values is all integer value. Oh my God, look at this value. <laughs> you don't have to bother about it. We will never see uh, in this much a big number, right? We are not doing any space programs calculations. Distance between the one planet to another, right? These are in like in the uh, uh, very high. Not today, not today. Date and time is separate. Ganesh, not today. So precision, total number of digits does not impact. This I have told you already. This I have told you already, right? Okay. This also I have told you already. Numeric data type, decimal I have told you. Uh, number I have told you. Basically, in most of your data analyst tasks, you will be working with number guys. You will be working with numbers. Date and time is exactly a different class that will take one hour, not in today's class. I won't discuss date and time today. That is later on. Okay. Ha. So you will be working mostly with the number and decimal also you can use. Number or decimal, anything is fine. Generally, what type of data type will be using in data analysis? Number. Number, most of the time, 99% of the time, number. Number, character and string. Okay. <laughs> Got it. क्लियर तो ये बहुत सिंपल प्रोसेस है जो मैंने बताया ठीक है अब स्ट्रिंग का देख लेते हैं चलो ओके ये हो गया लेट्स सी द अदर थिंग नंबर डेसिमल इंटीजर फ्लो डबल डबल प्रेसिशन बेसिकली हाउ डज इट डिफर इट डिफर्स द नंबर ऑफ डेसिमल पॉइंट्स हाउ मेनी डिजिट यू वांट आफ्टर द डेसिमल पॉइंट ओके ओके न्यूमेरिक स्ट्रिंग एंड बाइनरी देख लेते हैं आ जाओ लेक सबसे पहला चीज वैर कैर क्या लगता है इससे वट इज वैर कैर वेरिएबल कैरेक्टर वैर कैर स्टैंड फॉर वेरिएबल कैरेक्टर ओके वेरिएबल कैरेक्टर वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रेसिशन एंड स्केल यू शुड टेल मी नाउ यू शुड टेल मी नाउ ऐश्वर्या आई थॉट यू ऑलरेडी वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रेसिशन एंड स्केल सो इन स्नो फ्लेक वैर कैर एंड ऑल अदर स्ट्रिंग डेटा टाइप स्टोर यूनिकोड एटीएफ कैरेक्टर वॉट इज दिस यूनिकोड एटीएफ कैरेक्टर What is this Unicode eight F character? Let's see. Suppose I don't know. Let's see. What is Unicode eight F character? Let's see. In what format it is located? Ah, uh, let's see. Table we have. Again, you don't have to go into this detail. Yes, Unicode is like this. You are saying zero zero stand for zero plus zero 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 seventeen stand for like this. This is the way the numbers are getting stored. Okay. This is the way numbers are getting stored. This is the way numbers are getting stored. Okay. So this is the internal implementation. You don't have to bother about zero one will be stored like this. Digit zero will be stored like this. Thirty. So u plus zero zero thirty. Just the internal implementation numbers. There are certain format. Two formats are there. One is ASCII. Other is in UTF. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. ASCII and UTF. Let's talk about ASCII also. Since we are discussing data type, I want you to master this complete concept today. ASCII. Uh, let's see this ASCII code. How does it look? See this ASCII table. A little bit, if I can enlarge. Can you see this? I'll zoom a bit. I'll zoom a bit so that. Okay, my God. If I'm zooming it, it is good. Okay. Ha. Just observe this. Okay. Wait. Ha. Can you see this? Zero is zero. One is one. Two is ten. Three is eleven. Like this. This is binary. This is hexadecimal. Hexadecimal. It stands from zero to nine, and ten will be acting as A. Eleven will be acting as B. Twelve will be acting as C. So this is just just basically it's a Coding format, right? How the numbers are basically represented. Don't go into the much detail. I don't want to go into this detail. This is the internal. So UTF-8, Snowflake uses UTF-8. Okay. Sometimes you will get this error also in Snowflake. Encoding error. I need help. How can I get my old worksheet tabs in that direction? Just give uh, copy paste in the uh, uh, this one. 
note pad copy paste it in the note pad and keep it in your local copy paste it in your note pad karish man keep it in local that's what i have done yeah okay so these are the two format one is the ascii and other is the unicode next where was i ha huh. wait yes so var care holds unique code utf8 character right utf8 character got it in some system outside of snowflake data types such as care and var care store ascii while data types such as n care and n var care store unicode now it has gone in snowflake var care and all other string data types store utf8 characters there is no difference there is no difference with respect to unicode handling between care and n care data types synonyms such as n care are primarily for syntax compatibility when porting ddl commands to snowflake data definition language i'll talk about this later okay so when you declare a column of type var care of type var care karishma just copy paste the complete thing na karishma just copy paste the this thing in the you know, the guys suppose this data is there control all and copy paste it in the notepad how much time does it take just open notepad and copy paste you'll have this yes utf8 is amazing because it will support global language yes that's why okay ha huh. let me talk about where was i see that's how it, once it get interrupted the flow na yeah so when you declare a column of type var care you can specify an optional parameter n which is the maximum number of character to store very very important point which you will be using in your data analyst industry which you will be using in the data analyst industry old worksheet will be there in the worksheet old worksheet will be there in the worksheet i'll show you later on karishma ha huh. just go to the worksheet you will find it ha huh. uh but manisha has already answered click on the three dots import worksheet yes all the worksheet you can import it i have done the same way see this if you go to the worksheet click on the three dot import worksheet karishma to everyone those who wants to hear here karishma focus this you could have asked at the end of the class rather than asking in between import worksheet snowflake class i will take guys i'll take about this uh, the complete ui change many people are suffering okay don't worry i'll take i'll come in one or two days yeah so the utf8 coding which we were talking about ha huh, right how much is the maximum number of character to store so your name your country or we can say your area best example is your address we can use varchar address we can use varchar if no length is specified the default is a max oh look at this look at this look at this yeah manisha help others karishma focus on the manisha whatever she is telling ha huh. so if no length is specified default is the maximum allowed length 16777216 character that means entire address i can feed straight away in my var care first is numeric you will take second you will take is the var care okay although a var care maximum length is specified in character a var care is also limited to a maximum number of bytes 16 mb 16 mb is very huge guys if i have my address in three lines that will hardly occupy some 100 kb or 2 kb How much is three lines will occupy? Imagine, where can size sixteen MB it can hold? Sixteen MB it can hold. We have where can only to save string, only to save. You can store many or the such characters. Suppose address of an employee, address of an employee. You can use where can there. You can use where can there. Address of an employee. Right. Correct. Address of an employee. Correct. Yeah. Single byte, multi byte. I have told you this. Okay. storage uh, ha for a column consumes storage for only the amount of actual data stored for example a one character string in a var care column only consumes a single character very very good point i can ask you var care store 16000 how much is this 167 million i guess okay but suppose you have given only hello hello or suppose i have given anand var care name var care and i have typed anand what will happen to the remaining space snowflake internally is very smart enough so anand has a n a n d Five. It will to give only a five character string, right? Other space will get reserved. Performance. There is no performance different between using the full length varchar declaration versus in order smaller than. There won't be any hindrance in the performance. Got it? There won't be any hindrance. Okay. Who? Okay. Okay. This is there varchar. I have explained you string. I have explained you. See this maximum number of characters one byte. Seven million characters, 
4 million characters in encoding, right? This is the specification which which encoding you are using it. That's what it says. When you specify a collation for a varchar column, then the number of characters that are allowed varies depending upon the number of bytes each character takes and the collation specified of the column. Collation is based on what encoding you are using it, right? Snowflakes allow the unique. Uh, 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 this is the UTF-8 basically. Don't go into this complete detail. Unnecessary. Don't scratch your head in going into uh, unnecessary things because this doesn't matter for you. You are not designing any UI or you are not designing any snowflake. Got my point? So don't waste your time. Ha. Huh. String, I have told you. Character, var char, var char, var char. Mostly this is the use case. Var char you will be working. Let me show you straight further. Let me show you. Let's go up. Let me show you up, 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 up. Where is var char? Ah, working area. Var char. Var char 2. What is this var char 2? Why not var char? Where is this var char 2? Varchar 2 again, Varchar 2 and Varchar both are same, just number size matters. There you'll be storing 16 MB, here maybe 64 MB or 32 MB. Size gets increased, more number of characters you can store, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Varchar 2 is the advanced features of Varchar, where you'll be storing more number of characters. For me, it doesn't matter. For me, it doesn't matter. I will use Varchar or you can use Varchar 2 also, right? Doesn't matter. So clear this thing, Care Varchar and everything. Right. Anything else is there? Let's see. Anything else is there? No, 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 no. Where care? Uh, okay. Boolean, everything you know. Boolean is zeros and one, true and false. Indicator whether it's true or false will go for the boolean. Boolean is always zeros and one. Right. Zero stands for false. One stands for true. Zeros and ones are binary. Other way of saying zeros and one in boolean is uh, true is uh, uh, your true is boolean. True and false is boolean basically. So this was your data type. Let me see if I have missed anything else. Just give me one minute, guys. Just give me one minute. Let me check. Uh, 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 uh. Let me check if I have missed anything. One second, just. So use case also have told you. Uh, SQL basic is here. Project uh, neuron SQL practice. Let me check. Anything else is here? Uh, product name. Product name is also varchar too. Uh, wait, let me try copy this and then I'll explain you. Okay, just give me one minute. Let me copy this. Control C and let's paste it here. Okay. Yeah. Let's check the data type, what all we have it here. Uh, date received a string. Uh, sometimes date we take a string, guys, also. Why? I'll tell you the later on reason. Why? Because manipulations become really, really easy when you take string. Date, most of the time in your data analytics career, you will take string also. There are, there's highly a chance where we'll be using string. How you will take string and how you will take date, that will depend again on the business problem. That will again depend on the business problem where whether you are extracting certain month, certain year or anything. It depends totally. I'll discuss this thing in data and time class, not in this. Okay. I'll separately discuss. There's a separately. Uh, you see this here. Date function. You see this date function worksheet, which I have created. I have not added anything. So that will be a separate class. So don't worry. That will be a separate class. Okay. Huh. Uh, where was I? I was in IGMU. Right. Huh. Okay, let's check whether the data type is complete or not. Huh. Job role is string I have taken. Salary I have taken number 10 comma 2. Anyone can get salary with two decimal place. Employee ID I have taken. Integer you can take. Int also doesn't matter. Varchar 2 or varchar also you can take. Just specify the number of characters. Don't specify bigger characters. Employee name. Don't give 100 characters. Give 50. Let's be realistic. Okay. You can give 100 also. Doesn't matter. Because Snowflake internally will scale it. Doesn't matter. Right. Okay, let me see anything else is there related to data. Varchar 2, date received is string. I'm teaching string, string, varchar, company is varchar, string, string, care, string, varchar. We'll use combination of varchar and string. Okay, it just depends how much length you are. Just see the raw data and accordingly you can tell me. Now tell me one thing. I have shown you Excel. Someone has answered is what is the age here? What is the data type of age? Quick. What is the data type of age? What data type of age you will take? First business case. Let's learn. String, the number of characters is fixed. 
if you are taking as a string if you are taking as string and suppose if you are writing it uh, as a string and you are writing it anand it will take the entire character right it will take the entire character whatever the memory space you are giving it even if you have not given suppose string by default let's say a string you can give 100 characters you have you have given only 5 characters your entire 100 characters will be counted that's why we take var char in the business use case the reason is var char will limit the number of characters which we want unnecessary there won't be wastage again performance wise nothing will happen that's what snowflake says i am not saying this okay ha what is the age age what will take age i can take string also i can take var char also but if you are taking var char guys if you are taking var char make sure char has a fixed name yes ashwarya make sure you are specifying the number of characters right don't give var char as empty if you are taking age if you are seeing here age count how many characters had 65 years and ever 1 2 3 space also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 i'll give 20 var char to bracket 20 for age var char to bracket 20 i'll give not beyond that because it won't exceed beyond this okay var char to bracket 20 best for age gender gender men women char you can give gender char char is best fixed length three character three character woman string also yes yes it will work period period here you can take date or you can also give a string unemployment is again the number or integer unemployment is again the number or integer performance by nothing will happen don't worry manager won't screw you on this right performance by nothing will happen because snowflake internally has been designed in such a way right snowflake and internally has been designed in such a way see how i have given char four state name four character from the data i saw state name is only four character i give char four i give char four company name company name can be huge company name can be huge right company name can be huge so i have given var char 80 public response string this can be huge so i have given a string i have given a string issue issue i have certain issue my suppose i have ordered any product from amazon or flipkart i wrote a big comment issue i will take as var char to 100 characters right that's why sometimes when you write a comment also no it gives you number of characters limit your review on 200 characters or 1000 characters it gives you the that uh, limit right so var char to i have used it here so all the business case i have covered related to the data type okay related to the data type let's go to now slide one minute let me open the this one so far it is clear if we take extra size then storage will be wasted no storage will not be wasted manisha because snowflake is smart enough because i have shown you this snowflake is smart enough internally there won't be any uh, uh, hindrance on the performance it will scale automatically it will restrict with that much of characters there won't be any wastage of storage ha huh. but use it wisely i'll say ha huh. there is no hard and fast rule for such mm, okay where was that summary tab one second where was that summary tab yeah one second uh, okay data type yeah numeric string and binary logical data type let's talk about logical logical is boolean everyone knows true false true false series t yes no not only on true false guys t f is also taken care yes and no is also taken care no stands for false f stands for false t e stands for true even true stands for true and zero stands for false and one stands for true non tech background this is important for you those who are from the non tech background very very important for you okay i'll attach this also link got it zero is automatically converted to false internally that you don't have to worry about hmm. that you don't have to be worry about any non zero value is converted to true yes in programming language see guys there is always thumb rule in programming whether you are learning c c++ java sql any always any non zero number any number greater than zero is considered as true okay any Uh, number greater than one, uh, sorry, greater than zero is considered as two, and zero is considered as false always in computer programming. So string, char, and var char, perumal, there is no as such difference. Only it restricts the number of characters which you can have. Only it restricts the number of characters you can have. Again, I am showing you. Again, I am showing you. Listen carefully. What is written in var char? 
How much character you can store? How much character you can store in Mercad? Sixteen lakh seven seventy. How much is this? Sixteen million seven seventy seven thousand two hundred sixteen. You need ten hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million. Sixteen million character you can store in Mercad. Sixteen million character you can store in Mercad. This is the most important point. Manisha and others have asked this. I am highlighting it. Read this. A column consumes storage for only the amount of actual data stored. For example, a one character string in a var char column only consumed a single character. Imagine, right? It's like you are taking a dip in the Ganga River. You took uh, uh, using one mug, one uh, uh, one uh, thirty ml of uh, Ganga water on your head. Will any there be any impact on Ganga water length? Nothing. No. That's how in Snowflake, even if you are taking two character, automatically rescaling happening at execution time, right? It will treat only a consumed single character. There is no performance difference between using the full length Valcar declaration or a smaller length, right? Valcar is smart enough. No, we are restricting no computation internally. We are restricting. That's why they are giving. If Valcar is smart enough, then why we provide size for Valcar? Because Because we know how much size it is there, we know how much, size. so as to improve the computation, right? Internally, Snowflake doesn't have to do it. If you are reserving fifty characters, just keep fifty. Tabhi to bina koi tension kitha. Ha, le sakta hai. Koi dikhat nahi. Of course, le sakta hai. There is no performance difference. Le sakta hai. Yes, right. But the best practice I am teaching you, learning ke liye to koi bhi le sakta hai. Fir anpad aur pad hai me kya difference rahega, right? Correct. That's why we take. Number of characters we are restricting it because we know. अगर वैर कर लेंगे तो वो पूरा एप रिजर्व रिजर्व कर लेगा वो. But again जैसे तुम रन टाइम में फाइव कैरेक्टर देंगे तो it will only save the five character. वैर कर टू use कर use वैर कर ऑन ना who is telling us for you to use वैर कर टू use वैर कर I'm not stopping you use वैर कर doesn't matter use वैर कर it's just the number. See why this why Snowflake is getting things from NASA point of view things from ISRO point of view. You have seen the number of decimal places which is there. Just go to their Mars launch. Uh, the day the Mars was getting launched, you see after decimal how much precision they track, how much precision they track, right? That's why this all these data types have come up into the picture, right? We you are restricting yourself, your brain only with the single character. There might be some case. Even I am not aware. Even I am not aware. They will be using like twenty decimal digits after decimal. They might be needing that. Correct. That's why we use. Don't unnecessarily drag yourself into nonsense things. Okay, where care, where care to you is wisely. There is no performance difference. Focus on the necessary thing. Don't go into the complete detail. You just have to create a table and load the data. Get your work done. Why you have to juggle your mind for this? Just understand what is the what is the difference between character, where care, and where care to. Is just the number of character clearly says. I am not saying it clearly. Snowflake is saying. Snowflake is saying is this. You could limit. See this. If you know the maximum size for a column, you could limit the size when you add the column. You could limit the size. So unnecessary, right? No, no, I'm not forcing you to scratch it. Don't scratch your head. Use var char or var char two whenever there is a string data, or you are free to use string also. There is no best case for this. This is as simple as, right? Don't scratch your head. Correct? Ha. Huh. Just you should understand the difference between char, string. And where care is just number of digits which you can take it, right? See this care. I'm teaching you care also. What is the difference in care? Where this care went? Ah ah ah. Ha. Care and where care stored. I see now that they have converted into where care only. Um. Uh, anything else they have written for the care? I don't think so. Whether they have written anything for the care. Yeah, synonyms with var char except that if the length is not specified, char one is the default. That we know if we are not specifying the length. Binary we have done. Let me check a character and char string. Let me check the string. How much size is happening for the screen? Take var char, guys. Best recommendation. Take var char. Take var char. Snowflake doesn't talks about anything. Does uh, Snowflake gives anything? No, nothing. Snowflake gives. It clearly says there's no performance difference between using full length var char and var char of smaller length. Char synonymous var char said the length is not specified. Char one is the thing. That's what it says. Ah, there's nothing much difference here. Yeah, if it's a single character, use char only. Then there's no need of using the var char. Okay, just to restrict yourself. Do we need to specify the range or length for? Yes, yes, yes. You need to Anita. 
Yes, you need to, Anita. You need to specify. Otherwise, why I'm showcasing you this thing? Otherwise, why I have showcased you this thing? Let me. Why I have showcased you this thing? See this. Everything you are specifying, even when you are taking care number, care where can I'm specifying the country. That's the best practice. You should do that. Okay, that's the best practice. You should do that. Uh, we are done with the data type. I'm just checking if I have not missed anything or not. Boolean is done. Everything is done. Care string, where care and where care to. Uh, let's see for the where care to what they have given. Where care. Okay, okay. Uh, binary internal representation. Binary data types holds a sequence of 8-bit types. I have told you. It is always stored in binary. ASCII, I have told you, hexadecimal. That is an internal implementation that you don't have to worry. Mm. Ah, single constant can be enclosed between a single quote. I have told you, you can use single quote or double quote also. It, it in, to include a single quote character within a string constant, the two adjacent single quotes has been used. See this? Select today's sales performance. Single quote, you can use it. Uh, uh, uh. Single quoted strings. This is single quote character. Double quote. Not required. Not required as of now. Not required. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. String examples in table column. I have seen this. C10 character. Okay. Okay. This is also done. Yeah. Okay. We are done with data type. Yes. That's all was there in the data type. Okay. Now. Where was I? I was here. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let me scratch down. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see this. This is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. Uh, okay. SQL commands are basically instruction. It is used to communicate with the database. We all know, right? Update, insert, delete. We'll see all this kind of thing. It is also used to perform specific tasks, functions, queries the data, update the table, right? Update the table and all. Yes, Tej, you are right. SQL can perform various tasks like create a table, add table, drop table, modify table, set permissions to use. Everything will see in the snowflake. Everything will see in the snowflake. Ah, now this is very, very important, guys. What are the type of SQL command? Whether you run it on Snowflake, doesn't matter. You should understand the type. DDL, TML, DCL, TCL, and DQL. DDL is data definition language. Data definition language. You are defining a data. How I define a data? I'm creating a table. I'm dropping a table, altering the structure of table, or I'm truncating the table. Everything I'll discuss in great detail. Don't worry. So these are DDL commands. Remember this. You have to remember this. Yeah, you have to remember this. Create, drop, alter, truncate are the DDL command. Data definition language. You are just defining definition. You are not doing any manipulation. Manipulation means what? Insert, update, delete. That is called data manipulation language. Very simple. Next is your data control. You are controlling the data. Controlling means access, granting or revoking. I am taking access from you. I am giving access to you. Right, that is called data control language. TCL transaction control language. Your commit, you are saving the transaction. Suppose you have sent money to someone, someone bank account. So your account balance should reduce, and his or her account balance should increase. You should commit your transaction. Commit means transaction is successfully complete. You have saved the status. Your account has been debited, and someone accounts has been credited. Rollback means quick, quick. What is the rollback? Oh, I have done a wrong transaction. I need to roll back. Right. I need to roll back. So go back to the previous space. Go back to the previous, right? If it is possible, there might be chances that for few database, you won't have this rollback commission. And then save point. Save point is basically thing. Suppose you are doing 10 transactions in there. And after every three transactions, you are creating save point. Basically, you are saving your data after three. I'm writing three line of query. I'm saving the data. I'm writing three line of query. I'm saving the data. Like that. In simple language, I'm explaining you for the time being. And then data query languages. Select. Select is the hot favorite. Select is the hot sub. Yes. Here in Snowflake, it's auto save. Ah, yes. Very good point, Avinash. Here in save point, it is auto save. You don't have to save at all. Automatically, Snowflake does for you. 
Okay. And data query language is your select. Hot favorite. Select. Yes. I'm explaining you. Let me explain this quickly. So data definition language changes the structure of the table, like creating a table, deleting a table, altering a table, etc. All the commands of DDL are auto commit. That means it permanently save all the changes in the database. You don't have to juggle your head. Automatically, hence the like we have seen this. And we have seen this. Commit, I'll explain, Ashwarya. Don't worry. Commit, I'll explain. Let, let, let me become, I have to, I'm into DDL. Again, I'll explain you. Don't worry. Ah, so here are some commands that come under DDL. Create, alter, drop, truncate. Each command will see in a separate session. I'll do with create. I'll show you alter. I'll show you drop. I'll show you truncate. Everything will do. Everything will do. So this is the data definition language. We are creating a table. We are deleting a table. We are dropping a table. Okay. Next. Data definition language. Data definition language. Create. Create. It is used to create the new table in the database. Right. Now, this was the agenda for today. How do you create a table? I'll show you. Right. How do you create a table? I think C is missing here. Guys, C is missing here. Sorry. Create table. Table name. Column name. Data type. Let's see this. Syntax is very, very important. Create table. C is missing, guys. Sorry for that. C is missing here. Create table, table name, column name, and then data type. Let's see this. Let's see this. How do you create a table? Let's see this. Okay. I am using which database I am having. Let's see whether my database, demo database, I think is this. Huh. Okay. Demo database. So I'll say, what's the first command, guys? Use database. I'm using whatever database you are creating. Use that demo underscore warehouse. Okay. Run it. Object does not exist. Operation cannot be from why? What happened? This new year is not working. Snowflake sample data information schema. What happened to this demo database? Oh, this entire everything has been changed. Is it in suspended warehouse? Wait, wait, wait. Show, show warehouse. Let's see. I've used demo warehouse only in the database name now. Let me check. This new year has changed completely, guys. That's why even I have to explore. Unexpected warehouse line two. Why, 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 why? What happened? Mm, what happened? Wait, wait, let me check one thing. Wait, 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 wait. Everything they have changed it. Okay. Wait, let me try here. Mm -hmm. See, now they have incorporated chart also in Snowflake. Earlier chart was not there. So in one of the video, that will be a recorded video, guys. I'll upload on my YouTube channel the complete UI part. Even I'm new. Recently, yesterday it got changed. So even I'm not aware whether this will work or not. Ah, it's working. Ah, it's working. Okay. Okay. Achha, hai. So, one minute. Where is my worksheet? Worksheet, worksheet, worksheet. AGI, you know, let me pick one something table. Okay. I'll pick some table. Okay. Say, for example, let's, let's, let's pick a small table. Let's pick a small table. I don't want to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Pits. Okay. Let's keep it. This one. Copy. And let's keep it here. Okay. Now listen. Ha. Let's forget about, about this. Okay. Ha. Now, let me minimize this. Ha. What is the command? Guys, this is the best practice. Listen very carefully. Create or replace table. Why I have used the word replace? I can use create table also. I can use create table. Yeah, fresh, fresh page Mohit only I'm creating. Create, guys, this is the best practice. Always do this. I have learned from my manager. If he's watching this video, he only told me create or replace. Why I have used replace, guys? Can someone tell me? Can someone tell me why I have used replace? Huh? But why I wanted to replace already does if it exists? Why I wanted to replace? Huh? Why I wanted to replace? 
later on if i want to modify this table automatically it will be done just i have to execute this command suppose name i don't like suppose name i want to give name underscore uh, name of family here right so directly i'll run this and then i'll execute it right when later on when you want to replace this that's why because if by mistake unnecessary you drop this table if you delete this table gone again you have to recreate it that's why to avoid that circumstances you do create or replace table always you'll see my this master code i'll show you the code which i was writing for my client which i am working for let's see this master code i'll show you then you'll see all my functions are create or replace all in one script yes this is the script which you'll be i'll be showing you wait 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 uh, master 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 where is this where is this where is this I can also only not see my code. Where is this? Are basic? Where is my master code? Okay, master code is not there. Project uh, entry or not? Okay, it's not there. All in one script. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All in one script. Yes. See this. This is the code. Uh, sorry. Let me try copy. One minute, guys. Just give me one minute. Yes. Bingo. Copy and let's paste. Where is the worksheet? Where it went? Yes, it's here. All in one script. Okay. See how many times I've written create or replace. I'll show you. Create, create. Where is create table? Create table here I have written. But create or replace here I have not written. Okay, here I have not written. But usually I have a habit of writing create or replace. Develop that habit, okay? Maybe I have dropped out. Ha! Huh, create or replace. See, correct. That's the best practice I'm teaching you. Okay, create or replace. Always have this. Yeah, whenever you are writing this code, create or replace. It will help you. Create or replace. Okay. Create or replace. Ha! Huh. So coming back to this. Ha! Huh. How you write it? I'll tell you the best practice. Let me remove this. Then I'll explain you line by line. I'll explain you. Forget this. Okay, now how you You'll write the first command create or replace. Automatically, this will come. Something will come in blue, something will come in blue. Then you table and then you table name. Whenever you will work for any data analyst company, how do you write a table name? Learn this technique. Always you should give your first initial. Always you should give your first initial. Best practice I'm teaching you. Always suppose Ashish Pal, if you are writing, you will write AP underscore pets so that there is no confusion anyone joins in the team he can use the same format okay suppose anita devi you want to write so ad you will write ad underscore pets this is the best practice how do you write don't give random nonsense name okay pets why so why so the reason is because there can be a mistake that two or three people are using the same name there can happen that that's why so as to avoid the ambiguity. Suppose me and manager in a hurry. What is the people tendency? People tendency, okay, pets table, they have given, let's have the name pets. You will also use the pets. I'll also use the pets. So there will be a clash. Okay, that's why if your manager is using, if you are working on all the same table, there will be many copies of the data set which can be confusing later on. No, 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 no. Why? This is your table. This table you are not sending into the client. This is for your purpose, Mohit, not for the client purpose. Right? Not for the client purpose. There won't be any confusion. Who said that? No. There won't be any confusion. Do you think if I'm working on pets, my manager will be also working on the same table? No. Why he'll work? This is the table I have created. This is my table. This is my table. AJ underscore dummy. Yes. Only I have this access. Got it? That's why. Always have the first initial. I'll show you the, again the best practice. See this. See this. Where is all in one script? Ah, see this. Everywhere you'll see this. I'll show you best practice. See this first one. Let's check this. See this. What I have written. Where is this AJ word? AJ word is gone. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go down. Let's go down. AJ. AJ campaign measurement. AJ campaign measurement. Next. Next. AJ transaction table. Next. Next. AJ campaign measurement combined. Next. AJ campaigns measurement combined new existing next 
see how many full name just by reading client can tell anand has done a campaign measurement and he has given me new and existing whether the employees are new or existing he'll get to know now there may be possibility no 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 if you are using this naming convention there won't be any possibility ha if two people have anand has as same then of course right that you have to be careful because you'll be knowing your team right so there's hardly any chance that you will do that mistake right everywhere see this see this q3 q4 2020 top transaction naming has to be always meaningful don't give nonsense name at all no how i have given aj anand ha ye this is your this is your id which client will give you request id request id yeah i am wrapping it up mohit just 5 minutes just 5 minutes this is the request id which client is giving you and it has to be underscore guys use always underscore okay don't give like all in single uh, without underscore no things will go hey bad okay give underscore ha give underscore see ha so create table aj underscore i'll say pets pets i'll say demo say for example okay then pet id var cal 10 i have used name pet's name var cal 20 kind what is the kind of pet german shepherd golden retriever right then gender male female character 7 i have given because i am writing male and female f e m a l e six character that's why i have given seven age integer i have taken owner id i have taken an integer so if i run this let me see if it will run or not ha oh i think missed one thing what i missed opening and closing bracket yes there should be opening bracket there should be closing bracket and always gives and select this when you are executing it and run this unexpected error. what what is error is giving syntax error at line for why because i have not given comma after every column name you have to give comma everywhere right except the last except the last your column name and what is the type of data it is having column name type of data name or oh, you should remove kind string ha huh. everywhere column is this one is there let me zoom it a bit i think this is not visible for you yes now it is visible clear clear guys this much ha huh. comma always give comma ha huh. right always give comma is semicolon is required after no 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 semicolon is not required after is this statement only when you are selecting and executing it but best practice give semicolon best practice give semicolon best practice give semicolon after every query right i can run this and and then i'll click on run uh creating table oh shared database okay 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 wait wait i have to use the database sorry always use the database which is the database i am using demo warehouse use database demo underscore warehouse run let me run this why 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 what happened to this object does not is operation can why demo warehouse is there oh sorry see what mistake i am doing you guys should tell right warehouse is the keyword right ha huh. and then where is the run ha ah, done now okay and let's see if i can why what it is showing Ach Oh, database. I am not used. Sorry, sorry. Okay, where is the database? Wait, 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 wait. Snowflake sample data. Uh, I have to create one more database, guys. Let's create one more database here. Create is the command. Database. Uh, first, let's create a warehouse. Let's have a football. So this is basically a football ground. Football ground. Snowflake is not allowing to work on this too. Football ground. Okay. football ground then i am creating the football ground i am creating a seed okay that will see anita i have to explore that even i am new create database demo demo underscore data base okay let's run this okay use then again you have to use once you have created use the keyword use use database use data everything they have changed this new ai i have to explore before tomorrow's class okay now we are into this let's see database database is there 
refresh. Ah, if you click on this three button refresh, it will come. Okay. Ha. Huh. Now create or replace. If I do create or replace, say for example, here is this. Yeah, successfully created. Now you can search this. Search it here. Undergo to tables. Let's see. Refresh where it has created. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God, this is completely, they have changed this. Wait, wait, where this table got created? See, even I am not able to find it because UI of Snowflake is changed completely. Earlier UI was much better. Right, earlier UI was much, much better. I'm not able to find my table only. Where it went? Wait, describe. There's a word called describe. Let's see this. Describe table. It's not showing. Ah, describe table box. So describe is a command which will describe you the table. Suppose someone has created this table and you want to see the structure. So this is the structure. Now, what is this null default primary key, unique key check expression comment is the later part. Okay. Is the later part. This is how you create a table, but this is not the exact way. This is the general approach. I have told you tomorrow class. I'll teach you using UI part, how you can create the table in that particular database. Right. How you can create in that particular database. The Snowflake complete UI has been changed. Right. Everything I can see is new. Everything is new for me. Earlier it was not used to be like this. They have changed everything completely. I'm not able to see the table only. Where I've, earlier we used to see the table here. Now I'm not able to see. See with schema where and all it has been created. Oh my God, so many things they have come up. God knows. I have to explore guys this. They have changed the UI recently. I think two, uh, yesterday only or today only they have changed. No, yesterday they have changed. Yesterday they have changed. We have to explore this. Earlier UI was much, much better. Now they have changed everything. Even search option is not visible. Yes, Anita, they have changed everything. So this is the way, basics way to create a table. Now, before we wrap up quickly, Mohit, just two minutes, give me two minutes. I want to insert data into it. I want to insert data into it. How you will insert? Let me insert. Suppose one record I want to insert. So there's a command. There's a command. I'll tell you. Uh, let me check. Where is that? Insert into. I'll do that and then we'll wrap up. One minute. Where is my worksheet? Worksheet, worksheet. Okay. Worksheet is. Let me check. One minute. Pet, 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 pet is not here. Okay, it's not here. Then where is that pet insert into? Okay, here also it is not there. Basic SQL, let me check. First, let me minimize this. Ah, yes. Ah, so this one. Okay. Say, for example, how do you insert it? Let's insert one record before we wrap up today's class. So I'll say, this describes the table, okay? This is the comment. Comment is for the code enhanceability. This describes the structure, structure or, or metadata, metadata of table. Okay, now, how do you insert records? Suppose if you want to insert few records. So insert into table name, table name, Values, values you have to give in sequence. You have to give sequence. If you give the wrong sequence, it will throw error. First pet ID, one, two, three. Because it's a, it's a wire care. Okay. Next name. I'll give my pet name, Zoe. It has to be in single code. Okay. Then comma. What is the next name? Kind. Kind, I will say golden retriever. Golden Retriever. Are where it went? Golden Retriever. 
Next, what is the next? Gender. My dog is female, so I'll write gender. I've taken care, so let let's write the complete thing. Female. Okay, and then I'll write age. C is five and a half, five point five. I'll write, and then owner ID. Owner ID. I'll say one thirty one. One thirty one. Let's see whether it gets executed or not. Okay. What happened? Done. Number of rows inserted one twenty three. Okay. Let's see. Select. Then you. How do you do? Select star from AJ Pets demo. Select star is a very common statement which you'll using now and then. Yeah, you have the records. Bingo. Integer में decimal value क्यों दिखाएं integer? Okay, 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 okay. अच्छा है, it's rounded off. It rounded off. See, you didn't throw me error. Good Anita. Good. Now why you're deleting? Correct. It's good. I have given five point five eight. It rounded off to six because I have taken integer. I have taken integer. My mistake. I have given decimal. So I should have taken it. That's why create or replace works. I'll take this as decimal. Okay. That's why. Let's run this again. Create or replace. Aj pet successfully create. Let's say describe. That's why create or replace are taken. Now let's insert. Let's see demo. Tool. Ah, previous record also got inserted. <laughs> okay. Got it. Five point four. Uh, let's try with five point four. I'm not sure. Five point four. What it will take? Duplicate record I have inserted. Okay. Let me one minute. It or replace. Nothing is there. Okay, nothing is there. Decimal I have taken. No one twenty three is pet ID where care. Okay. Where care I have taken pet ID. I should take. But let's keep this thing in single quote then. Five point five and then I have taken owner ID is one thirty one integer. And you do select star. Yes, good. Why it is not taking five point five? It is rounding off. Why? You should not round off. Why? What is the reason? Yes, I should give the decimal place. That's why. <laughs> That's why it's not taking. Wait, let's check this. I think I did a mistake. Wait, 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 wait. Create or replace? Ah. Huh. Now let's check. Select star if it is empty or not. Yes, it's empty. That's why create or replace. I told you. Put your cursor here. Execute it. And then do select star. No, why, why, why? I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised. Why it is not taking? Wait one second. Decimal. Why it is not taking two decimal? What could be the reason? Why is Snowflake is converting it to six? No defined value scale. Two and decimal, two digit with one decimal. Let's check once again. Ah, scale I didn't give you. Ah, good Avi. You should tell me, guys. I was not seeing. Who will give me the scale? Decimal two comma one, numeric two comma two. Yes, correct. Ah, bingo. We have the records. Now tomorrow I'll start the bulk loading. This so you have loaded the two records, three records, four records. No one asked me one very important question, sir. You have given this in sequence. What if I don't want? I want to enter only name and gender. I want to enter only name and gender. I want to enter only name and gender. How will do? Who will tell me? I uh, suppose I want to enter only name and gender. What should I write? What should I write? What should I write? Huh? What is the command? What is the command? Can I write like this? Just observe. Name, comma, say gender. Let's see if I can give like this. 
So name is, I'll say this time, Bruno. Bruno is a dog name. Caps lock, caps lock on. Bruno. And I'll say, what is the breed? Breed, what is the dog breed? What is this dog breed called? Uh, Labrador. Labrador. Okay. Uh, name and what I'm giving gender, sorry. Name and then I'll give, wait. Let me see whether it works or not. Name and he's male. Okay. Let's see. Give enter. Okay, but let's see whether it will work or not. Done. Bingo, it worked. Ta -ta -da. Yes, this is called mapping. So you, you have learned the first SQL command today, select star, how to use. So what is the process, guys, is in cloud? You'll be working N number of warehouse. So first is the youth warehouse, whichever warehouse you are working. Then in that warehouse, in one football ground, there can be thousands and uh, ten thousands of seats, right? Big, big stadium. Which seat you want to occupy? Go to that database. Go to that region. In that region, then use it. Grab it. This is the three command which will be starting your day anywhere on the cloud. Got it? And then you will create any table. If you are creating, you have to create use. So agenda of today is over. Although I dragged it a bit, but you have understood it. Everyone, those who are watching me live, right? Very easy way I have explained you in and out clearly I have explained you how to use the data type, how to use the indexing and all, right? If you don't give decimal point, point Snowflake automatically converts it to the nearest. Okay. And if you don't specify it, Bruno must others, you are not specifying it. Null, null, null. Either this way you can do, or you can specify null, Bruno, null, male, null, null. Okay. You can specify like that. Try that. Any issue, feel free to let me know in the next class. We can use select also using from. Select also using from. What select? No, no, no. I am talking about inserting data. I'm talking about inserting data. Okay, I'm talking about inserting data. Pele to use warehouse command run karne ka need nahi hota tha. Haan, ab hota hai. Sab change ho gaya pura. I have to see Anita. Give me two or three days. This is new for me also, guys. First time I'm seeing this UI. <laughs> From last two years, I didn't see this. Earlier, it was much, much better. Classic console. Everything was there. Now, now you can see the chart also. See, there's a chart also they have creating. Everything. Pet ID, name 100% filled. What is the kind? 50% field owner. This is nice. There's so much thing to explore. I'll tell you. There will be separate recordings on this. I'll upload it on my channel and then you guys can watch. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys. No, tomorrow not possible. Tomorrow there won't be class. Yeah. Saturday, Sunday. I want a suggestion from you guys. Saturday, Sunday, if you want class. Saturday, Sunday, if you want class, what time should I do it? Because I neuron, I'll be associated with at that time. 8 to 10th, of course. Saturday, Sunday, I'm thinking we can do it in the morning time or let, let we wrap up for Saturday, Sunday. Monday to Friday, let's still keep 10 to 11. What do you suggest? Yes, yes. That's what I was thinking. Monday to Friday, let's keep 10 to 11. That's all. No class on Saturday, Sunday. You also take rest. I'll also take rest. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. No Saturday, Sunday. Because Saturday, Sunday, many people will be going out with their friends and family. Let's keep Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday, we all work and 10 to 11 will happen. Okay. Saturday, Sunday, yes. Saturday, Sunday is later. No? Saturday, Sunday, I'm focused with I neuron and other stuff. Okay. So all this live class will be there from Monday to Friday. Okay. Cool. Basics you have learned of SQLs today. Data type I have explained you completely. Then you have, we have agenda for today was the data type. What That's what you see in my background. Data types and table insertion that we have successfully completed it. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed this session. Right. Tell your friends also to join, to subscribe this channel if they want to learn SQL, whether they belong to any domain, whether they are in hotel management, BCA, MCA, BTEC, non-BTEC, anyone can free to learn. Class 12th also, if they are here to learn, they are, can come here. Any student also most welcome. Most welcome. This platform is for all. Okay. So tell them, spread this word among your friends and family. Let them come here so that they can learn something. Yes, Monday to Friday only the class. I'll keep Monday to Friday. No class on Saturday, Sunday. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekends. 
Go watch Netflix movie. <laughs> okay then. Bye bye. Take care. Yes, send send your links to your friends and family and resources, guys. If they want resources, this was already you know at the end of this video in the description. I have given all the link. At the end of the description, I have given all the link. Once again, I am showcasing it to you all. If you go to my channel, any any video, if you open, suppose you are opening the introductory video, right? If you are opening introductory video, if you go down, let me go down. I have given the GitHub link. I have given the GitHub link so that. Ah, this is the GitHub link, guys. Just click it directly, then you can go it from there. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. See you. See you on Monday. Okay. Yeah. Good night, guys.